What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video we're drawing Think Noodles from Minecraft. Let's get started at the top of our page and draw the front edge of the head. Starting right in the middle, we draw a straight angle line. Going up and out towards the right. Let's go back to the left side and draw a line coming about halfway down the side of the head. And we'll take that same length line over on the right side. Now we're going to work our way along the inside of the hairline. Starting from the bottom left, and go up and in with a short line. Do the same thing on the right. Let's go back to the left, draw a straight line going up. Now it's going to work our way towards the center. Coming up and in. Go up with a straight line. And then pull that back in towards the middle. Now we're going to do the same thing on the right side. Draw a straight line going up down and in and pull that back up towards the top and come down and in towards the middle leaving a gap in the center let's add a strand down the center of the forehead coming down on either side close off the bottom with a straight line now we're going to tuck the head in underneath the hair on the bottom left corner we're going to step in draw a straight line come down towards the bottom of the head Go over towards the right and do the same thing. Let's close off the bottom with a straight angled line. Now we're going to work our way towards the back of the head. From the top left corner, draw a straight angle line going up and back. Now we're going to take this same length line over on the back side, coming all the way down towards the bottom. And then we'll draw the bottom edge of the hairline, starting down here and go up and back, go up with a straight line, and go back, now we're going to come down with a straight line. Now we're going to make our way back over towards the bottom, go up and back, come down with a short line, and close off the bottom with a straight angled line. And I'll draw this same length line over on the back side, stepping in, down towards the bottom of the head. Connect the left and right side with an angled line. Let's close off the top of the head to create a cube. Starting on the left side, draw a straight angle line going all the way over towards the right. Then we'll pull this down and out towards the top corner of the head. Now let's add some detail to the face starting with the eyes. From this point we're going to step up, draw a straight line coming up and in. Same thing on the right, pull it straight down towards the bottom of the eye, pull it down and out, going up on the right, and we'll just pull that up towards the corner of the hair. Let's separate the bottom edge of the eyebrows. We step down, draw a straight angle line going across, line this up on the right. And we'll push the pupils towards the inside of the eye. On the left, angle down and out, and then come down to create a cube. Now let's add the mustache and the beard. Just underneath the left eye, draw a straight line going up, and we'll pull that straight down towards the bottom of the head. And then halfway along the side of the beard, angle down and out, and down with a short line and go all the way out towards the side of the head. Let's go back to the inside, extend that line going across the bottom of the mustache and then from the side draw a short line coming down on either side, close off the bottom with a straight line. Let's extend the beard on the side of the head. From here and go up and back and then come straight down. Let's add another cube. Going up, and going up and back. I'm going to come down towards the bottom, draw that same angle line, and then close off the end. Now I'm going to go back and add a little bit of texture to the hair. Starting from the top, straight down, go up and out towards the right, and back up towards the top of the head. Let's add another one along the side. Down, 
down and in, and then pull that back up. Now I'm going to go back to the bottom corners of the mouth and extend the beard going out towards the side. Now that we complete the head, let's move over and draw the top of the left arm. From the bottom corner of the head, we're going to step in, draw a straight angle line coming back, and flatten off the bottom, coming down and in, go up and in underneath the head. And then we're going to bend the left arm, starting from the inside, draw a straight line coming down, draw that same length line from the bottom corner, close off the bottom with an angled line. Let's bend the form coming out, starting down here, and down and in, draw that same line on the inside, and we'll close off the bottom. Let's flatten off the front of the arm, coming straight down, do the same thing on the right, and we'll close off the bottom to create a cube. Now we're going to draw the outside of the arm coming down towards the elbow. Let's start on the left side. Coming straight down to right about there. And then we'll angle this down and in towards the bottom of the arm. Let's add in the glove. From the elbow, we'll step in, draw a straight angled line going towards the inside of the arm. Go back to the left side, draw a straight line coming down. And then from the inside of the glove, we'll step down, go across, pull that down toward the front of the hand, and we'll pull that straight down. Now we're going to add two small cubes on the outside of the hand. From the bottom, we'll step up, come down, do the same thing along the top, draw a straight line, leaving a gap in between, and we'll pull that back toward the top of the glove. Let's separate the edge of the shirt on the outside. From the corner of the elbow, angle down and out. Now we're going to move up, draw another straight line going across. On the left side, I'm just going to angle this back towards the back of the arm. Let's add a trim along the sleeve. From the bottom, we'll step up, come down and in. Go up with a short line, come down and in. Come down with a straight line and then back in toward the edge of the arm. Let's do the same thing along the front. Going up, go straight up towards the top, flatten off the top, come down, and then angle that in. And now we're gonna layer the body in behind the arm and the head. From the bottom corner of the head, let's step out, draw a straight line coming down in behind the arm. And we'll go to the right corner of the head, step in, draw a straight line coming down towards the hip, and then we'll angle this down in behind the left arm. Let's continue working down towards the bottom of the feet. In the center of the body, draw a straight line coming down towards the left knee, angle this down and out, and then pull that back up towards the top. And then we'll bend the bottom of the leg. Starting from the bottom corner, and down and back, draw that same length line along the inside, and we'll close off the bottom. Let's work our way along the outside of the leg. Starting from the bottom corner, angle up and back, angle this up towards the back of the knee, and then go straight up underneath the arm. Now we're going to straighten out the right leg, starting from the middle. Draw a straight angle line, coming all the way down towards the bottom of the leg. Go to the outside hip, draw that same length line. Let's close off the bottom with a straight angled line. Let's go back to the bottom corner of the foot, draw a straight line coming in, and follow that angle line going up in behind the left leg. Now we're going to angle the right arm in behind the body. From the top of the body, we'll step down. Angle down and out. Angle this up and out. Go up toward the back of the arm. And pull that back in behind the head. Let's go to the bottom corner. Angle this down and in behind the body. Go to the outside. A 
that same angle line coming all the way down towards the bottom of the arm. And goes down and in behind the leg. Now let's go back and add some detail to the body. From the left side, we're going to step in, draw a straight line coming all the way down towards the bottom. Go to the right, step in, and do the same thing. And then from the top, step down, angle this up and in, line this up on the right. And then from the inside, pull this all the way down towards the hip. From the inside corner, we're going to step down draw the edge of the collar with an angled line. Now we're going to move over and add some detail to the right arm. Let's start with the top edge of the glove, starting on the outside, angle down and in. Let's move up, draw another angled line, step up and draw that one more time. Let's add that same detail along the front of the arm, starting from the outside, come down and in, up, go across the top, come down and in, and pull this in toward the inside of the arm. I'm just going to tuck this up and in behind the body. Now let's move down and add some detail to the legs. Let's start with the bottom edge of the shoe. On the left side, we'll step up, draw an angle line coming down, and we'll continue this along the front of the leg. Let's do the same thing on the right. In and going all the way out towards the outside. And then from the top, we'll step back up, draw another angled line, pull this towards the inside, and do the same thing on the right. Let's add the laces along the front of the foot. On the left side, we'll step in, come down, do the same thing on the right, and we'll close off the bottom. Let's do the same thing on the right side. Let's go underneath the knee, draw two straight angled lines, coming down, and close off the bottom. Now from the back of the knee, draw a straight angle line coming in. Let's go over towards the right. We're going to step up, draw another straight line coming in. Now from here we're going to step up, draw an angle line coming up, leaving a gap, continue on the right, come down towards the bottom, and then we'll close this off. Let's add two rectangles on top of each leg. From the knee, we'll step up, draw a straight angle line, go straight up with a short line, and close off the top. Now I'm leave a gap and do that again. Going across the bottom, going up, and closing off the top. Let's add two more on the right leg. From the knee, we'll step up, draw a straight line, up and in, close off the top, and then we'll leave a gap and draw that again. Go off the sides, close off the top, and that's pretty much it. There's Think Noodles from Minecraft. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Make sure you subscribe and send me your requests in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again soon.